Hi, I'm Molly Forrester, Director of Patient and Family Experience. I'm here today to tell you about the Employee Mental Health Support Program, or EMHS, one of the innovations created by our department this year. EMHS was started with funds donated to UW Medicine, specifically intended to support the mental health of our workforce in response to the stressors brought on by the pandemic. These have been challenging times for all of us, and the pandemic only added to the growing need for mental health support throughout our community. EMHS is a confidential service available to staff, faculty, and their adult household members intended to help people navigate and access outpatient mental health services. Through an online intake form, people are walked through a few questions aimed at helping direct them to the resource most appropriate to their needs. This might include care with a psychologist or psychiatrist based at UW MC's outpatient psychiatry clinic, connection to a therapist via CareLink, the UW Employee Assistance Program, or a free conversation with one of the mental health navigators from my team who can help people figure out what they might want and identify community-based resources. Launched in March of this year, our team has responded to over 100 inquiries from employees throughout our system. We know the pandemic has been hard on all of us, and we know many more of us were struggling long before that. No matter what the circumstances, EMHS is here to help. Hi everyone, I'm Melody McKee with the Behavioral Health Institute here today with Cara Tal and Brad Felker to share about the BHI's Telebehavioral Health Project. In spring of 2020, we conducted a telehealth needs assessment across the state and a pilot telehealth training series and learned that 90% of the providers were extremely new to telehealth. Based on all the feedback, we created a new online and webinar telehealth training series. Online, we created a six-part Telebehavioral Health 101 series, as well as a VA-specific series. Thanks, Cara. The 101 series was designed to provide a foundation for offering high-quality professional telebehavioral health encounters. Of course, if there's a 101 series, there's a 201 series where we offered um, more advanced training. To date, the seminars have been very well attended with approaching 13,000 attendees to date. We've got several new projects underway and look forward to developing additional programs to support telebehavioral health across the state. And a huge thanks to all the folks listed on this slide. We, have, we couldn't have done this work without you. Hello, my name is Ryan Kimmel. I'm one of the psychiatrists at the UW Medical Center and I help manage the PCL program. This is the uh, psychiatry consultation line, the provider to provider program uh, for adults that runs 24 seven uh, and is staffed by psychiatrists from UW Medical Center and Harborview Medical Center. As part of the funding for the Washington State Legislature, there was this uh, language that we were also to do uh, direct to patient uh, care consultations when clinically appropriate and technically feasible. Uh, that was a bit daunting. In 2019, uh, as a department, we didn't do much into the home telehealth. Uh, of course, COVID changed all that. There has been a rapid expansion uh, in our department of our ability to take care of patients uh, in their own homes via telehealth modalities. Pal for Moms has been doing some pioneering work as well, uh, directly seeing patients via a grant and a program they had uh, based on referrals that they were getting in the community. So uh, we were able to leverage some of their expertise and take advantage of some of the solutions that they had developed uh, for that kind of work and are looking forward to doing this ourselves. We have completed a pilot project now whereby we've been seeing a few patients then make ourselves available to do a one-time consultation to help with diagnosis, um, pharmacologic and non-pharmacologic treatment options, next steps, those kinds of things where we think we could be of some utility. The patient and family experience team's innovation is that we took a clinical program that was exclusively phone-based and expanded it to include web and text-based chat. Our team runs the Boeing Mental Health Care Connect program, which is a way for Boeing employees in the state of Washington to speak with a UW psychiatrist or a mental health navigator to get help accessing mental health care. 
departmental leadership, and the Boeing Corporation wanted to pilot texting and chat with patients. Our goal was to improve engagement and trial this communication format with patients to see how successful it might be. So far, our pilot is going really well. We launched the program in late April and 25% of the program volume is now through chat. We are the first clinical program within UW Medicine to utilize a chat app with patients, and we had to clear quite a few hurdles to get this going. Logistically, it had to be fully vetted with legal and compliance, and there was a lot of back and forth around IT security protocols. Clinically, we spent a lot of energy in making sure that we develop strong workflows to ensure solid patient care in the platform and around our handoffs between the mental health navigators and the doctors. We also consulted with compliance around consents to care and best practices, which had not been previously developed. If you have any questions or want to talk about our chat experience, please contact Jennifer Mignani or Rosemary Whitwright.